Okay, so um, the point I want to make in this video is this is actually a rubber T that snaps down in this track right here, which I've got nailed down. Um, well, you can't see, right there's a nail, like every, right there's a nail, nail. Anyway, it's nailed down and there is a glue under it as well. Um, what I want to do in this video is show how to put this down and not have it been short, okay? Have you ever noticed, say, in a grocery store, any kind of, any kind of uh, shopping center or anything like that where they have these particular moldings, you'll always find this. Look right there. See that? They're always a little bit short. And um, if you're a carpet guy or a floor guy, of course you've seen it. And you're like, dang, they, they didn't, they cut that too short. Well, that is not the case. I want to show you what happens and what causes that to end up that way. Um, you may have even um, put it down yourself and went back and like, uh, say in a store or something if you do commercial work and noticed it and been like dang I know I didn't cut that short why is that short well I'm fixing to explain that and show you how not to get it short okay so right here I just got it laying here you can see it's flush on both ends that's a perfect fit how it needs to be right there okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start putting it in just like just like normal and I want you to check something out there. So I'm just going to start tapping it in here. Okay, here you go. This this is where the problem happens right here. Now, if you'll notice, I'm still good down there. Look at that end. I'm still good, flush on the wall right there. But now that I've tapped it in and I get down here, I'm a quarter inch too short. What, huh? I mean, yeah, a quarter inch too long. And what happens is you'll take and you'll cut that off and finish tapping it in there. Boom, that's your problem right there. That's where it ends up being short because over time and walking on it and stuff, that thing is going to shrink up like it's supposed to be. Right now, since I tapped it in from one end to the other, it actually stretched it as I put it in the track. So that's why it's long right here. So I'm going to show you how to prevent that. I'm going to go ahead and pull this back out. Uh, about this far is all I need to do. And uh, so what you want to do on these to prevent that right there this might sound a little weird. You want to start that end and then start this end and meet in the middle. You'll have a hump right here in the center. Can't get that. Okay. So if you start on both ends and work toward the center, it's still going to stretch. But now see, I got the hump right in the center. So all the end is good and the end is good. It's just stretched right here in the center. Now when I push that down, it's just gonna push everything nice and tight like it's supposed to be here. So that's it. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be short on either end because I didn't have to cut anything off of it. I still have the original um, length on there. It didn't get cut or anything like that. Um, I got to be honest with you. I'm not too satisfied with the way that looks right there. Um, let's see if I can't do something with that.
Okay, and there you go. That's how you um, start from in one end, go to the other end and start it. And as you've seen, it left me with a hump in the center. As I pushed that hump down, it just kind of scrunched everything together because it stretched out. So it didn't stretch out and I had to cut anything off the end because when it shrinks back up, it would have been short. Now there's no shrinking that has to go back on because it's not stretched out of proportion or anything like that. So this is gonna look like this for years to come, not short, okay? Thank you for watching. Please hit the little subscribe button up here in the corner and be sure to hit the like button. Um, that helps, helps my videos get up front whenever people are searching different things. And um, hit the notification bell and you can get all of my latest videos as soon as they come out. Thank you for watching.